Hello everybody, I'm Katiana de Campos and today I'm gonna give you your mystical illumination reading. So I asked a message from ancestors and it was crazy. I was uh, in my I was gardening pretty much and I heard like some screaming. I don't know how can I explain that screaming and when I looked up there was a bunch of seagulls doing back and forth, back and forth, dancing. Wow. One of them was screaming wow. loud, and I believe he's the leader, right? And um, a lot of things came out. So the seagulls uh, speak about your ability to go further in life, to see beyond uh, the horizon. It's about being positive, it's about being free-spirited. Um, it's like a rebirth, okay? You're looking for freedom or and to feel this freedom within you, okay? It's also um, a symbol of acceptance uh, dur during the difficult times, meaning that I believe that some of you may have or will have acceptance about where they are at right now even if it's a difficult time and you understand that there is phase and cycle that need to close okay this is life and you're gonna go further okay um you just like the seagull you know when the seagull doesn't have something to eat he figure out where to get something to it, right? He's going to steal it from someone. <laughs> Seagulls are very aggressive. So you have this kind of resourcefulness. Resourcefulness that you will find always a solution to your problem. You always be able to take care of yourself. Spirit wants you to tell you that they have your back, whatever happened in your life. Uh, they asking you to be fearless, okay? As this time, you could feel like that, like, okay, I'm going to take a leap of faith. And you are also very intelligent about what I understand. You understand what's happening. You could be a hard worker, and you're not scared to work. To Mostly, if you're having a bad time with money, uh, your job, you will find a solution. You will bring back better day to yourself. You have this stamina and this strength that um, allow you to rise above challenging times. All right. So um, that's the first message, and that's beautiful. Good job. Okay. That's all it is. Um, a lot of us are entering a new cycle that is more. Fulfilling for, for our spirit, we're feeling more freedom, we want to be happy, we're finding this happiness, we have resource, we know we're going to be fine, all right? Um, the seagulls speak also about expanding your goals, expanding your dreams, your ambitions, okay? Um, I believe ancestors are asking you to really, really, really trust in your abilities, extremely trust in your abilities. Um, you need to put an enormous trust in your uh, talent and um, because it's what's gonna help you to move forward, all right? Um, if you don't know what is your talent, you're going to figure out and move towards that. If you already know, there is an um, some kind of upgrade, evolution, so trust, trust in yourself, okay, because they trust in you and they don't want you to doubt in what you really, really, really want to do with your heart, all right, so also, um, like I say, some of you could be leaders, you could be someone who have a lot of experience, okay, or went through a journey and now you have a lot to teach to others. You may have um, a group of friends or family watching you changing or maybe you're a speaker, a leader 
and people are looking up for to you okay um, because you help them to be more positive and to evolve in their life to be a better ver version of themselves they, they have seen you probably evolve all right let's say also that um, maybe back then you were like more like ordinary even like some people who was were gossiping on you or making fun of you and you went through that journey and some of them were watching you just to see if you're going to fall if you're going to you know if it was i don't know to make fun of you others they weren't believing you so they kind of were there watching but not, but not being there really and now it's a different time because you are some of you are done with their journey okay even the dark night of the soul or just the healing process right and people can see can feel your aura your energy the way you live uh, you walk you talk uh, you walk your talk and they are really really um following your guidance all right so it's a little bit well the seagull it's like uh there is this movie named jonathan livingstone and it's about a seagull that is leaving the group going into his journey going through all kind of difficulties and at the end he figured out how to fly and he flies his own way all right a way that the one who stay in the group don't even know don't don't I haven't how you, they haven't figured out and he is coming back and he's going to teach others how to fly the same way pretty much all right um, so that's the thing uh, I believe that some of you are doing that for others you could be right now leaving the group to go on to your journey others you done and you're going to teach okay so some of you you may be in a spiritual journey or spiritual development self-work inner work and uh you're really searching for um the divine for a higher purpose okay wondering what's going to elevate your energy how you you know something that make you feel like yourself and uh, whatever if it's for work even in love you know you you may go on to a journey on your own all right so um, I feel like um, spirit wants you to know that yeah it could be a difficult time but um, you have the resource to go through whatever difficulties you're going through you also need okay because if not it's 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 not gonna work you need to be grateful for the blessing that you have right now and that you are enjoying like if you have enough food on your table enjoy that be grateful for it if you have some clothes on be grateful for it if you figure out your talent your gift your abilities be grateful for it all small things if you see an animal and this animal like let's say a cat comes and you pet them and it's a nice I don't know enjoy that be grateful for that okay so um, I think some of you you may enter a group okay or So I believe uh, some of you, even if you're leaving a group or entering, entering a new group of friends, workers, co-workers, sorry, um, a new group, uh, you have to really value that, okay? Value, the value of working together, all right? And be powerful together. So that's one thing. Um, there is also uh, new beginnings coming, new ideas, inspiration, 
um, there is some kind of equilibrium that's gonna help you to move forward all right so yeah find back this balance be free spirited and move okay at your rhythm there is no rush accept that things are how they are and you see that everything's gonna develop beautifully okay um yeah and for those who are leader there is this journey that is ending good job and you going you going to make a safe return to your family to life to i don't know to a safe return to who you truly are and you going to bring with you a lot of knowledge that you going to pass on all right that's what i see for for you guys outside of that um the seagull yeah is a symbol of new beginnings and is known to be loyal to one soulmate let's speak about love so um the seagull is the ideal ideal symbol of devotion of bonds Okay, it's something powerful. They have one soulmate and that's all and that's it. Okay. Um, they have also a lot of respect and their the love is unrestricted. Okay. So if before you had some love that didn't work, it could have been re, uh, unrestricted. No, unrequired. Sorry. And um, so... It was more to teach you a lesson for some of you, but today is going to be um, a love that is okay. You can and you can love, you can love this person that's coming towards you fully, because now you opening to to life. Okay, you having a lot of inspiration, intuition, right, and. Um, if there is a love coming towards you, it could be that you are ready to move towards something that have a lot of um, I hear truthfulness and uh, that you will value. Okay. Um, others, it's um, stamina courage, patience, you could be shaken from your spiritual path, by being separated from a loved one. So you could be shaken from your spiritual path by being separated from a loved one. And that loved one could be someone you love in the physical world or someone who has passed in the other side all right and that could bring emptiness and sorrow in your life okay you could feel sorrow and emptiness but um you can move forward okay it's safe you you have to go on to your journey somehow for others you could have had this situation uh, in your life and uh, the seagull um, could speak about also someone returning to you so that soulmate you have been separated from so you can figure out who you are and be on your spirit like understand your spirit and the spirit world and all that is around they could have done the same work uh, on their side and now this person could be returning to you if it's someone that has passed away is departed okay it could be that um, that this beloved one 
um, is coming to visit you. Coming to visit you in the body of an animal, could be a bird, it could be a seagull, but um, or through many animals coming to visit you. This person is watching over you. This person is also giving you word of wisdom. Okay, so they really are guiding you and you should listen. All right, so um, outside of that, the main message from the video that I have, okay, and the picture I took uh, at the beach is that, um, so first let's speak about when I was at the beach, I saw that beautiful seagull, but that was very unique. Okay, it wasn't just white and gray, it was plenty of, you know, design <laughs> on, on this seagull. And um, I believe that it speaks about you being a unique being, all right? You are beautiful, you are unique. Um, this um, bird was alone and I believe that maybe you have felt alone or you have been in a journey alone. Some of you, you entering that, okay? And um, it's time for you to maybe find peace, to to enjoy life, right? It's bringing back this energy of wow, freedom, all right? Um, go out a little more. That will be nice, so you can meet others and reconciliate with 3D life because when we start this spiritual journey we're like oh my god the 3D I can't I want to go back home in the universe I want to be in the 5D all the time well you have access to the 5D at this point and you're ready to go into the 3D world and experience um, your life uh, accomplish your mission so now you don't even I believe trip about it. You just like I'm here, so let's do it. Okay. Um, now um, the all these birds that were on the sky and this, you know, scream and all that. It could speak that there is a um, situation that is going to be difficult for you um, or danger. Something that spirit are trying to let you know of, okay? So you could have, you could go um, towards a dif like something difficult could happen. I don't know. It's not even for some of you it could be a difficult time. For others it could be something just. A test or something difficult that's emotionally difficult and um, just what I know is that ancestors say that you're gonna be fine all right so you're gonna have to go through it because no choice for some of you and stay grounded listen to your intuition Okay, be patient. Okay, um, but um, but you're gonna be fine. So so um, the seagull is also, you know that. Um, A bird that is well known to, you know, bring the people that have died in the other side. So if you have lost someone recently or even long time ago and you're not sure and you're still grieving, know that this person is trying to tell you that they have passed on the other side beautifully, okay? There is no blockage, they are not blocked in between or whatever. They are in the other side. The seagull is saying that. 
they bring them in the other side okay and um, you could be you be someone that communicate with spirits or that has a close relationship with animals or you seeing signs all over the place okay um, but mostly a very deep connection with animals and that's your communication that's how you get your message a little bit like I do okay yeah so um, I believe that um, this week you're going to take some um, you're going to take some um, some good decisions uh, however if it's your yin your creativity going out taking care of yourself being beautiful queen of cups all right yeah being be beautiful feeling grateful finding peace um, really feeling your really managing managing your sensitivity all right maybe you someone sensitive or very empathic you um, going to balance that okay and you're grateful for it there is maybe a healing that is over um, beautiful opportunity coming your way too okay or a beautiful blessing and when I say that uh, if it's not an opportunity like a job whatever whatever a new home and all that it could be uh, this beautiful blessing of being healed getting more um, understanding more your talent and really um, moving toward that without doubt without um, being shy about it okay uh, king of wands king of wands speak yeah you're taking action that's what I just said maybe you meeting a Leo or a Pisces uh, ca uh, cancer Scorpio okay it's possible but it's about taking action being a leader all right you have beautiful goals expand it so that's that's pretty good that's pretty good your intuition is everything your inspiration is everything okay believe it trust it yeah and the six of pentacle okay what was um, not fair back then I don't know something is coming back to you that's what I fairness is coming back to you I have the six of Pentacles and the Empress the Empress you worked hard for something maybe you um, had um, financial constraints and uh, because of your work because um, now you re I don't know you're reopening your heart to life uh, to yourself, you taking care of yourself, you moving forward, you believing in your intuition, it's like fairness coming back. So maybe you're going to have a bunch of money coming. It could be from an inheritance for some of you. Um, for others, it could be just an opportunity to make money and also love, okay? Love, all right? Uh, I see that some of you, you may feel a little bit uh, some type of way maybe about a mother or someone who has maybe um, a little bit of masculine energy somehow um, yeah someone who is manipulative a little bit maybe having narcissist traits could be a father or mother doesn't doesn't matter um, this person is, in, is manipulative a little bit, okay? They have their own way, it's very smooth. But um, this person is manifesting something for you, okay? Or for themselves. But I think you are, uh, yeah. But I think that um, you could be done with um, with this kind of attitude. You understand it. You know how to deal with it. But some you 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 move forward. 
you close the chapter. The people are where they are, you cannot change them, they have to change themselves. Um, or for some of you, it's a relationship with a mother or father that is getting better. You moving into a new chapter, all right? A new kind of relation. You have a new relationship that is that has been um, created, all right? Uh, for some of you, there could be legalities, documents that you need to do. So if you change home, you're gonna have to you know, do all your documents if you want to travel, stuff like that, all right? Um, yeah, or it could be about business, it could be about anything, um, legalities, justice, court. Um, you, it could be in your favor, all right? You very grounded about where you're going, your goals, and uh, you're gonna make it. So that's, I forgot to tell you one thing also, I had two other things for you. So first I had that vision of uh, a woman getting into a shop and shopping wedding dress, trying on a we wedding dress, looking for wedding dress, right? So I believe that some of you, you may be planning to get married, are you getting married? Congratulations, beautiful, um, it felt very good, very exciting. Um, others, you, I found myself, uh, you know, making my belly big and I was looking at myself in the mirror like that. So finally later I made an Insta Instagram post about it. But um, I feel like some of you, you could have baby fever, all right, wondering how you're going to look when you're going to be pregnant, if you're going to, you know enjoying that, you really want to have a baby, others, you could get pregnant in July, August, I don't know, but if that's not your goal, don't, be careful, all right, protect yourself, um, if that's what you want, congratulations, others, you could be, deliver a baby, that baby that you're going to have, you have a strong connection with them, all right, a strong, strong connection with that baby, this is uh, really what you want. I believe this baby um, is returning, meaning that you knew each other in another life, and this baby could even be a soulmate. So this baby is going to or teach you a lot. I mean, they will, they all do. Uh, but also, you gonna, you may have a strong, strong connection. Almost like uh, telepathic, or it's like there is this understanding and love that energy that is here from you and that baby that you can understand, you cannot understand. All right, so you see, I think, yeah, when this baby is going to be a kid and grow up, there will still be this closeness. All right, and uh, I don't know if it felt very warm, very overwhelming somehow, and beautiful. A lot of joy um, of being pregnant, a lot of joy of being pregnant. So, congratulations, all right? See you Thursday. Love you.